One of the sort of vexing questions, um, difficult questions, important questions in health economics is what's the value of, of life? What value are we placing on a month of life or a year of life? Um, and, and that's where economics can be helpful. Is health improving with these newer medicines? And if so, what's the dollar value of that health improvement? Should we restrict, for example, uh, patients to only a subset of all the medicines available? Uh, are there some medicines which uh, are very expensive but don't deliver this, this higher value? What's the probability that they'll survive if they take one drug versus if they take another drug? One of the most important questions in um, health economics and possibly even economics is why are medical costs rising? And are these I increases in medical costs actually worth it? The main reason why costs are rising is because scientists keep coming up with new and better ways of treating patients, new medical devices, new drugs. And so what I'm doing in my research is applying economic methods to try to answer the question of whether we're getting value for our new medical technologies, our new drugs, our new medical devices. Easy to measure costs, more difficult to measure benefits, but if you can measure benefits, then you can answer the value question. I think ideally we'd like um, policymakers, patients, also people who are designing health insurance plans and who are making decisions about which treatments to cover and which treatments not to cover. We'd like them to have essentially all the information they need to make tough decisions. I'm Sean Nicholson. I'm a health economist at Cornell University in the Department of Policy Analysis and Management.